pleasant day, our dear televiewers and subscribers of Depend Hour Teleturoan. It's me again, Sir Randolph and Bruce of Padre Gregorio Pisostomo Integrated School, your teacher presenter for today's episode. And today, we will discuss the mole concept. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to be able to first, relate the mole concept to Avogadro's number. Second, determine the number of moles of a substance given its mass and vice versa. Three, determine the mass of a substance given its number of particles and vice versa. And number four, determine the number of particles of a substance given the number of moles and vice versa. The mole. Scientists and mathematicians use special names for counting unit. In chemistry, counting unit is the mole. It is a Latin word which means heap or a huge pile. And the SI symbol is MOL or mole. The term mole is similar to the word dozen, which refers to a 12 count of anything. One mole is the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of this isotope 12C or 12 carbon. It is also defined as the amount of substance containing the Avogadro's number in any kind of chemical unit. The Avogadro's number, it was discovered that the number of atoms present in 12 grams of carbon of 12 carbon isotope is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. This is referred to as Avogadro's number after the discoverer of the Italian scientist Amedeo Avogadro. A mole of a gas is the amount of a substance containing 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. It is a basic unit of the amount for quantity of a substance. The substance may be atoms, molecules, ions, or groups of ions. The mole allows us to, to determine the number of elementary particles in a certain mass of a given material. Avogadro's number is an absolute number. When associated with an amount of elementary particles of any type, it is called Avogadro's constant. The number of molecules in a mole is defined so that the mass of one mole of a substance expressed in grams is equal to the substance mean and molecular weight. For example, hydrogen has an atomic weight of 1.0079 AMU or atomic mass unit. By definition, one mole hydrogen is equal to 1.0079 gram per mole of hydrogen. Avogadro's number which is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd or 602 sextillion is a very large number. Try to imagine this. If you put together 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd basketballs, it will be as big as the earth. Or if you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd rice grains, it would cover the land masses of the earth to a depth of 75 meters. Let's have uh, several sample problems. There are 1.25 grams of a molecule with a molecular weight of 134.1 gram per mole. Now the question is, how many moles are there? We will use the formula number of mole is equal to mass divided by molecular weight. We can see that the mass of a molecule is given already in the problem. What is the mass of a molecule? Very good. The mass is equal to 1.25 gram. How about its molecular weight? You're right. The molecular weight is equal to 134.1 gram per mole. So, substituting the values to the formula, number of moles is equal to the mass divided by the molecular weight will give us 1.25 gram divided by 134.1 grams per mole. So what is the final answer? Very good. The number of mole is equal to 0 0.0093 mole. Just always remember, in solving problems like this, we should write its correct unit. And now let's uh, proceed to molar mass. What is a molar mass? 
molar mass is a more called molecular mass or molecular weight. It is the sum of the masses of the atoms that make up the formula unit or molecule of a substance. Let us have example or sample problem in computing for a molar mass of a substance. Find the molar mass of the following substances. Number 1, aluminum sulfate or Al2SO43. Number 2, ethanol, C2H5OH. Here's the solution for this problem. To get the molar mass of aluminum sulfate, we first determine the number of atoms of each element in the compound. How many atoms of aluminum are present in the compound of aluminum sulfate? You're right. There are two aluminum atoms. So 2 multiplied by its atomic weight using your periodic table, we can get your the molecular weight of aluminum equal to 26.98 grams per mole. Uh, remember, we should multiply the number of atom to its molar mass or molecular weight. So 2 times 26.98 grams per mole is equal to 53.96 grams per mole. How about for sulfur? How many atoms of sulfur are present in the compound? Yes, you're right. There are 3 sulfur atoms in the compound. So 3 times its molar mass or molecular weight which is equal to 32.07 grams per mole is equal to very good 96.21 grams per mole how about for oxygen how many atoms of oxygen does the compound contains yes there are 12 oxygen atoms so 12 times the molecular mass of oxygen equal to 16 gram per moles is equal to how many there are 192 grams per mole. So adding all the molar masses of each atoms in the compound will give us 342.17 grams per mole. Number two, C2H5OH or ethanol. C has C is equal to 2 times 12.01 grams per mole is equal to 24.02 grams per mole. For hydrogen, there are six atoms of hydrogen so 6 times 1.01 gram per mole is equal to 6.06 .06 grams per mole for oxygen there's only one atom of oxygen in the compound so 1 times 16 grams per mole is equal to 16 grams per mole so adding all its uh, molar mass is equal to 46.08 grams per mole and there you have it Please stay tuned for the second part of our discussion on mole concept. We will be right back.